Absolutely. My thing is, I told my husband, I want exactly what I want. I knew that I wanted my children to have their own rooms, their own bathrooms. I wanted it a certain way. And we looked around at houses. We looked all around and I'm like, oh, well, we would be settling. And so why not go build your own home and get exactly what you want and spend a fraction of the cost? Is have, what's, yeah. Have the equity in it. Have so. the equity and have exactly what you want is the biggest thing. Your home's in your hands, you build it. You build it, it's the place to go to build your home with people who know outstanding service, remodeling too. Your home's in your hands, you build it. Plumbers to roofers and cabinets too. We find the best people and value for you. Hammer all day or hire a crew. It's up to you. Your home's in your hands. You build it. Hello, everybody. We are blessed to be able to be in a brand new home built like Carlos and Karina. Uh, and they are going to walk us through and show us some things. We're going to take a moment in this beautiful kitchen just to discuss the experience. Uh, every now and then we will try to jump in and show some, some progression photos. How was the experience? You are just getting moved in. What's just the overall, oh, I got a second to take a breath. What are the thoughts as we are cleaning up? Uh, we're finally in. <laughs> It's been amazing. It's been yeah. an amazing experience to go through. So, the quick and easy questions. How long did it take to build? Five months. Five months. That was flying. <laughs> yeah. Which of you ran the job, or who was the main person, or did everyone? Carlos mainly ran it because I had to take a step back. There was a lot of details, <laughs> a lot, a lot of details that he is better equipped to deal with than I am. <laughs> But y'all did get the appraisal in today. What was the appraisal for the home? 525. 525,000. Yeah. And the cost to build? Uh, with lands, 360. 360. The cost to build the house itself was? Uh, 309. All right. And then we were able to sell the other five acres for? 30. So the net cost ended up being? You had almost 200,000 equity total with the land value and everything? Uh, 165. Yeah. 165, and at the other 30, it would even be 195. Yep. I think that's one of the best ratios I've ever seen <laughs> someone do. What's your favorite part of the house? Oh, uh, my shower is my favorite part of this house. I do not know if we'll be able to show that. I hope we can, <laughs> because it's so hard to get, but. But you know, my it's favorite cool. is the kitchen. I love my island. Yeah. This probably is amazing to me. I love I, my island. I'm fit a 20 person buffet on there. I love my <laughs> island. Like, I, I get so many compliments on it. They're like, this is massive. It's incredible. Great. The whole kitchen flow is incredible. Yeah. The huge dining room and the, the table you had him made by the friend. The, the beautiful cabinetry. If we get a shot of it later, the pantry that can hold enough food for, <laughs> for a siege. Uh, and in a fun way, it's incredible. Yeah. We have the huge garage. The shower is amazing. The monster closet. I got to say from just a how pretty it's decorated and turned out and the amazing functionality of it, purely from a designer standpoint, your mother-in-law suite might be my favorite part of the home. That's I hope we're able to to show it and everything yeah, yeah, we do absolutely. the walk around because it's incredible. Absolutely. But I want to let Mark visit because Mark is one of our best construction consultants and he guided them through. Uh, and I really don't even know what I'm looking for people to say. But Mark, talk a little bit about the experience and then if anyone has anything they want to add about working with a consultant and the flow of communication, advice, good, bad, whatever, Please, guys, do so. But Mark, how, how was the project from your standpoint? What were your thoughts? Well, my thought, <laughs> the five months that it took to build it was extremely fast. Most of our projects, or most projects I've ever worked on was seven to eight months. So, but yeah, Karina was in a big hurry, and I understand <laughs> why. Um, the, with the five acre property they had, it was half wooded and one day it's wooded, the next day it's not wooded. It was now. <laughs> so, and the whole project went that fast. From day one, we hit weather perfect to where the pad was leveled. 
and they set the border and, and poured the concrete and then it rained for like two days. And then the next thing you know, the framer's here, it's up and framed before the next one rained and I mean everything just, it really clicked along great. Mark was great through the whole thing. Every, anytime we called him, he answered right away, called right back, was out here. We were like, hey, we need to come look at this. Okay, I'll be there in a little bit. He was always I, right on. I probably should have bothered that now for some of those late nights. It was Don't worry about it. I would actually, actually, it, actually it, it worked pretty good, good because I only live about eight miles from here. So it I was, know, I'm sorry, I'm off right now. <laughs> Mark was absolutely wonderful through the whole entire thing. Nah, it's okay. He, he, the only thing is he did laugh at me when I said I wanted to move in really quickly. He was like, do you think you're going to get it done in four months? <laughs> he laughed at me. But it's okay because I got it done in five. <laughs> last, last, last. Well, this size house in four months, well, I guess I'm sorry. I laughed at you. <laughs> this is no small house. What was our total square footage by the time it all, we claimed the extra bathroom space and everything? With the oh, garage and all. Well. We did actually clean the extra bathroom space, so I guess it's more. The original was 3412. The original layout. 3421. I guarantee you you're over 3,500 square feet then. So now here's what's crazy, your appraisal would be higher. <laughs> By about 15 grand. It's actually worth about 15 grand more. So you, you cross the $200,000 <laughs> Uh, that's, not bad. that's not a bad part-time job, my friend. Uh, no. Okay, so 3,500 square feet at this level quality at 309. The heck with speed of building. That was exceptional management of options and ideas. Uh, what level was Mark where you, you build it able to assist you in being able to achieve? Oh, it's high. Oh, yeah. He... We had it pretty lined out. My husband is very, very organized. He is. But when we needed Mark at every turn to, you know, hey, Mark, we got this going on. Is there anything we missed? Mark would be like, oh, well, don't forget to schedule that. And then Carlos would hop on in. Or sometimes he would call me, well, did you schedule that? And he'd be like, oh, yeah, we, that's one thing we forgot. So. Remind him to use the checklist. Yes. That's why they're we there. That's by. why those things are there. <laughs> yes. But they were they, very helpful, though. They, very, very helpful. They helped me yeah. even for, remind <laughs> me to not forget things, also. Yeah. And they really do. Yeah. Well, There's a lot of things to a building a house that yeah, nobody can about. remember every little detail. Use. And that's a good thing about our checklist. I can't, the hardest. We always talk about communicating, and I did earlier as well. One of the main things for me is remembering to remind my people that your clients haven't done this every day like you have. Yes. We have to communicate with them, and I don't mean this foolishly, to teach them to use the tools because they don't know how important they are until you get there. The planning phase. Yes. You want to save that kind of money? The planning phase is everything. Yeah. It may, you want construction to go quality? Planning is everything because you're still going to run into a hiccup yeah but you want to take them from this to this take advantage of it but construction the manual is not there as a prop it's not there because well we got to give you something for your money <laughs> <laughs> and if you use that tool yeah. i promise you you will have a very similar experience yeah. guys thank you so much let's take a short break and then i'd like to just have you walk us around the house and explain what we're looking at as we go. And I will, I will pull out and let you do so. Hi, my name is Michael McElroy and I'm with Gateway Mortgage Group. And I'm so excited to be able to work with the You Build It customers. Gateway is an Oklahoma owned and operated company. We're Gateway employees all the way from application to closing. We understand the area and it's an honor and a privilege to work with you and with You Build It. You can find our link on the company website at youbuildit.com. Look for the gateway link, or you can call me direct at 580-436-0505. Thank you very much. Hi, Bob Broderick. You Build It and You Remodel It have helped over 1,000 Oklahomans build or remodel their own custom home. For more information, for project photos, for interviews with clients, please visit youbuildit.com. I wanted to try to go from the front door. This house flows beautifully. I have a great formal living to the big living open concept kitchen dining. And then to our right, we have the office and then the mother-in-law suite 
to the left, the pantry, the laundry room, the mudroom, <coughs> the garage, and then of course the master suite behind. Then we flow to the upstairs. So I want to kind of, now I'm going to shut up and <laughs> I'm going to let y'all choose which way to go and just trust me, walk like you're giving someone a tour go quicker not slow it, you'd be amazed how much you get in okay. but just explain where we're going what we're doing and looking at and any comment you would like to make okay. and the show is yours all right, <laughs> all right. Yep. here this room this is our our office <clears throat> uh, here we have extra storage this is our media closet to power all of the surround system and everything in the front room uh, we have a mother-in-law playing here. Now, does that run the media for the upstairs as well, or is that just no, for the living room? Huh? And here's the mother-in-law kitchenette and living area. And back in And her little dining area as well. The restroom here. And the mother-in-law bedroom. My mother. My mom. <laughs> my, <laughs> my parents. <laughs> it's a nice bathroom set up. I have to pick the colors for this. this she good. actually picked her own colors. We picked the granite, she picked the color of her walls. She's a very good decorator. This <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful area. What do you call this area? This is our formal sitting area. And tell me about the floor. How do you, how do you decide the floor? <laughs> so at Beaver's Band, we went to a cabin with these floors, concrete, uh, concrete floors, and we asked them what type of floors, but we thought they were tile, and they just told us it was stained concrete, so we decided to go with the dark gray. Yeah. Did you do it yourself, or did you have somebody else? No, we hired a, uh, it was actually a vendor on the you build it list. So then this is the sitting area where we hang in a lot too, sitting around. Tell me about the fireplace, because I love the fireplace. Originally we wanted to paint it a darker color, but we were told we actually had to have something surrounding it. And so I didn't want to go with the formal mantle type thing, so I seen this really dark porcelain and fell in love with it. And I thought, oh, that'll pop out from the light gray wall. So we did porcelain all over. It does. I love, we have such a classic home and yet it has such wonderful elements of modern. Yes. Uh, it's, it's kind of a cross like country and modern. It's yeah. kind of like a rustic look. It's not, for what it's worth, to compliment you, that is not an easy design to pull off. And when you do, it's gorgeous. Yeah. But I have seen people fail more often than <laughs> succeed. So doing so, so Beautifully is very, very impressive. So that's why I think why I like the, it's a simple fireplace, but that's why it really, yes. it pulls everything together so wonderfully. I am a very simple person and I threw, I threw in some of my simple touches. <laughs> Here's our kitchen. Uh, family size island, it's a 10 by four island, so for Come over for Thanksgiving and Christmas, please. <laughs> <laughs> and here's our, our, where we have all of our, our meals, our, our kitchen table. We have to have our table handmade for the room dining area. Yes. I love an open concept. I love the joy of it. We understand family. It's not just pretty and it makes it live larger, but it's the ability to have a party, to have meals, to spend time with the kids, which is so hard to get, and be able to talk to them while we're cooking, while we're cleaning, and bond together, and it's beautiful. The knock on it is, is unless you're building an 8,000 square foot house, you don't have enough cabinetry if you're gonna have a true beautiful open concept much more affordable than cabinetry, and the only way to squeeze it in is do a large pantry. Please consider it when you're thinking of your remodel or building a new home, because trust me, 
you'll be amazed how much easier it is to walk in there and grab things than it is to open and dig through and to go in the corner. And it enables you to do what you want for the reason we have a home, which is family, bonding, love, all the great stuff. So sorry I took over, but please remember to consider a pantry as you do things. And here's our master bedroom. We're still trying to figure out what to do with it. And here's our master restroom, master bath, tub here, shower here, and separate commode here. Two separate vanities, which we love. Oh, yes. To have our own space. That was a necessity. <laughs> How did you decide on that? Oh, I, I told her I'm not sharing with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. Working here, too. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Do you want me to rinse it off? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see we never got in there and cleaned the grout off yet. Yeah. All right. This is our pat patio um, for barbecuing and football. <laughs> Lots of football. <laughs> Lots of football <laughs> is where we'll spend most of our time. Yes. We had to make sure that we all did our handprints. It was a very special touch for our family and very special time for us. It's like a huge rainbow when you walk upstairs. We, uh, we so, wanted to let the children pick all their own colors and they definitely did. So. You'll see an array of colors. This is their their playroom, their video room where they watch TV at. They are absolutely in love with it. When they come up here, we hardly see them. Yeah. So, and then this room is our oldest daughter's room. She's very Okay. We are truly blessed because all three of my children shared the same room at our other house and in this house they each have their own room and practically their own bathrooms and we had one bathroom <laughs> at the other house so our children and we are just truly blessed so my girls share a bathroom i guess it's not a jack and jill it's more of a jill and jill bathroom so i got a full bathroom with separate vanities and separate mirrors Yes, I wanted the princess fill in their bathroom, so I feel like I, I halfway achieved it. <laughs> this is my four-year-old's room. Of course, it's frozen because what four-year-old doesn't like frozen right now? And she's got a princess fill in here as well. And purple. She chose purple. She wanted purple, red, and zebra stripes. We talked her down to purple. <laughs> So in me and Carlos, we chose the color for the movie room because had they chose it, there would probably be a different color on each wall. Yes, we've got a projector up here with a 150 inch screen. The kids love it. We love it. We're blessed. The media closet for up here, which is doubling as storage too. So multi-use. Here we have attic space um, that could have been a little bit bigger, but we had a little hiccup with the bathroom on the other side that I'll show you. But it's still ample. Build up and maybe put a pool table or my sister wants to build a room in here. So you did the spray foam insulation in here too? Yes, we did spray foam insulation. Um, initially, we were not going to because the cost difference, but... Um, we were told that if there's two places you want to spend your money, it's on your heating and air system and on your insulation. And uh, best decision we made. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We insulated the, the garage, both the, the attic and all of the walls. And we have 
the floor uh, deadening. Uh, you have the extra stuff There's actually foam underneath the floor. Like, mm -hmm. on the scene. Yeah, well, we don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> so this way we have my son's bathroom. Which originally <clears throat> was part of the attic space. But we had a little hiccup with the his closet, so his original bathroom is now his closet. And this is our son's room. He is a Thunder fan. He has the largest closet, which really upsets my oldest daughter. But hey, we had two girls instead of two boys. So she'll have to deal with it. He picked his own color, yes. They got to pick their own color, their own bed set. They got to pick everything. So we wanted them to have the same experience we did with building a house. Hi, I'm Jason with Agile Spray Foam. We are the premier uh, spray foam contractor for You Build It. Um, we do spray foam insulation, uh, closed cell and open cell. We would love to talk to you more about that product. Uh, please give us a call at 405-397-0233. Uh, Ask for Chad or visit us online at agilefoam.com. Thank you. Why you remodel it? Just recently we decided we'd totally redo it. I'm very pleased with the results. Tremendous job for us. I can't believe how great it looks. Youbuildit.com We had a vision, we had a, a, a dream, I guess you could say, of what we wanted, but uh, we're not rich by any means, so we, we wanted to explore our options. See what would uh, see what they had to offer, and it, it turned out to be the best thing for us. Four years ago, we initially had our first meeting with Bob, and we were pretty young, but we knew we wanted to build, but uh, that wasn't the right time for us. So when we started getting, we got some land, and then so we made another appointment to meet with him, and it just all went uphill from there. Uh, have you all, either one of you built a house before? No. No. <laughs> no. Would you do it again if, you, if someone asked you to? Absolutely. Yeah. It, was, it was an incredible experience and just to enjoy the payoff afterwards. So uh, for the four months it took you to build it, it seemed like probably every week was like uh, Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, oh. Yes and no. Um, it's, to keep it flowing, it was a little bit stressful, but my husband did an amazing job keeping it going uh, to get it done so quickly um, and to see it thrown up so fast to come out one day and not have anything and come out in a week and have half the house thrown up was insane. So it was an amazing feeling. With my parents living with us, you know, we kind of wanted to keep it uh as a, a big secret, you know, uh, all of our family members and closest friends, they knew what we were doing. Uh, but my parents, they were so excited as we were, and they would come out every other day. Yeah. And they would bring friends out, hey, come look, it's, it's a house now. You can see this is where we're going to live, and this is the master bedroom. And, yeah. And uh, now that it, 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 to see it all come together, it's still unbelievable. It's hard for us to believe when we wake up every morning we're like wow we live here yeah we, we feel like it's a vacation home yes because y'all stayed married yes you? yes yeah. was there ever it, it's funny you mentioned that because i said that if we can stay married through this then we can make it through anything yes. we yeah. made it through the first year of marriage and we made it through building a home so i think we can make it through anything there were some times though we were oh, yeah at each other's necks yeah. but it all more so her and mine <laughs> <laughs> But we got through it, yeah, and we got through great it. payoff. Yep. Yeah, and, and what do your friends and family say? Wow. <laughs> They're definitely amazed and shocked, and I think uh, being so young and everybody coming and seeing her like, wow, and they're inspired to do the same thing. It's, it's nice to be inspiring. Yeah, I've actually had uh, a few inquiries at work. Um, They've been one asking how the process is going and what I think about it, and, and uh, there's a couple guys that are talking, they're really, really serious about, uh, you know, possibly going through you build it to. Uh, yeah, because we had our housewarming party, so a lot of people are able to come see it, and yeah. so everybody's kind of like, whoa, we need to call you build it and yeah. see what we can do. 
a, a lot of people I see, they <coughs> comments on the internet and say, you know what, you can just go to Home Depot, buy the lumber, and do it yourself. No. No. No, I would never attempt to do this. And here's why. <laughs> because there are things that when you don't build a home that when you don't do it every day you don't think about so you have this manual that guides you and then still when we had our frame up it was like okay let's call our consultant to come and check and measure things out um because you have to have put things certain places and these different contractors you know they don't always think about the little minor things so when your consultant comes out to make sure everything is placed to where it's peace of mind you build it, that's what we've said yep. all through the whole process. You build it gives us peace of mind about building. They ensure that things are being done the way they're supposed to be. So, yeah, I'd, yeah we would definitely use you build it yeah. again. Even though you're experts now? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we know uh, it all, but I still need a peace of mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she knows it all. She knows it all. Well, maybe after a few more times, there will be. <laughs> <laughs> You could probably make your own manual at this point. <laughs> oh, man, I wouldn't even attempt it. <laughs> <laughs> that manual's pretty thick. Did you make oh, it? Oh, my. It's you overwhelming. Know, and I, I would take it to work, like, every day. And guys would look at that and say, oh, my God. Yeah. It's you overwhelming to, to look at until you pick it apart. And yeah. then it's not so overwhelming. Yeah. After, uh, after Ron Brown explained, explained everything to us and, and actually breaking down the sections, we were like, oh, it's not so bad. Yeah. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot of good information in there. <laughs> we're, we're really satisfied. We're really happy with it. Yes, absolutely. I wake up. I've woke up every day since we moved in and say, I love my house. Yeah. I love my house. It's exactly to the T what I wanted. And that's the best feeling ever. Not to move into somebody else's house and be like, oh, well, I wish there was that there. Well, I have that there because I put it there. So, yep. And for, nice. for any man wandering, then there it is. I mean, happy <laughs> wife, happy life, right? So. <laughs> okay. so if I understand correctly, you got to get married to the most incredible woman in the world first. Right, right. Well, and well, all you build it. that's impossible because I'm the only person that's going to be married to the most incredible woman in the world. But the second or third or tenth best will work. <laughs> right. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys so much. Thank you for showing us your home, the beautiful walk around, everything completed. We hope that this intrigued you and we hope you want more information. If so, call 1-800-YOU-BUILD-IT or visit youbuildit.com. Free information kit on new home or remodels from you remodel it are available at any time. We hope to visit with you and we thank you for watching. Your home's in your hands, you build it. It's the place to go to build your home with people who know outstanding service we're modeling to your homes in your hands you build it plumbers to roofers and cabinets too we find the best people and value for you hammer all day or hire a crew it's up to you your homes in your hands you build it I love I you, love build you it. Build it. <laughs>